Hi everyone, my name is Gage. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about the difference between a drag queen and a trans woman. So this video seemed relevant to me because RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 3 just ended and Season 10 is starting soon. Congratulations to the original skinny legend Trixie Mattel for winning All Star Season 3. But um, Shangela got robbed. But anyways, a couple weeks ago RuPaul said something in an interview that was perceived to be as transphobic by a lot of people in the community. He was basically comparing taking hormone replacement therapy or transitioning to steroids and how trans women taking hormones was the equivalent of like an athlete in the Olympics taking steroids. And that for obvious reasons angered a lot of people. I'm not necessarily going to get into the whole politics of trans women being in the drag community, but I'm going to be basically just talking about the difference between a trans woman and a drag queen because apparently a lot of people don't know the difference. And because I am your favorite neighborhood YouTube transgender woman, I decided that I wanted to educate some people if people are curious or do not know. Let me just start off this video by saying that the similarities between a trans woman and a drag queen are simply nothing. Like, honestly, nothing. The main thing that I feel as though a lot of people fail to recognize is that drag is under the umbrella of gender expression. So how you express your gender through your appearance, um, through makeup, through clothing. Trans identity, however, is under the umbrella of gender identity. How you identify as a human being, whether that be male, female, neither, anywhere you lie on the gender spectrum. Now gender expression and gender identity are completely unattached from each other. Obviously there is some correlation between femininity and identifying as a woman, but there are many women who express themselves in much more masculine ways and many men who express themselves in much more feminine ways. Drag queens base their looks and their identities off of exaggerated silhouettes and basically a caricature of femininity. If you've ever seen a drag show, they are very extra, they are very out there, they're very outgoing and loud. Trans women, on the other hand, are not caricatures of anything, they are just simply women. Nothing more, nothing less. It's really that simple. Drag queens dress up as their particular identity for the means of performance or to give a show to people. At the end of the day, they go home, they take the makeup off, they live their day-to-day -day life as a man. Trans women, on the other hand, are not putting on a performance, they are women with makeup on, without makeup on, with the high heels, without them, with the hair, without the hair. They're just women. Earlier in this video, I did say there's basically no correlation between a trans woman and a drag queen, but drag is an avenue for a lot of trans women to realize their trans identity. Carmen Carrera, Monica Beverly Hills, Gia Gunn, Jiggly Caliente, Sonique. These are all individuals who discovered that they were trans through drag and then transitioned and came out as trans after their time on the show. So with that being said, there are a lot of trans women in the drag community. Even after they come out, if they have grown a following, a lot of these queens have a big following from drag race and being a drag queen. So they're not completely just going to leave the industry out of nowhere. But once a trans woman comes out as trans and identifies as a woman, she becomes more of a performance artist rather than a drag performer. A lot of them consider themselves to be similar to burlesque performers. So at the end of the day, drag queens and trans women, they're different. And if you're one of those people out there who are going around calling trans women drag queens or gay men, please stop. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I missed anything that you thought was important in this video, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this topic. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter to keep up with me on other social media platforms. I'll leave the links right here, probably. I don't know. I hope you are all having a wonderful day or morning or night or breakfast or lunch or dinner or snack time or dessert. But anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you next week with another video. Bye!